I should have fished this too, to be honest. Okay, now I know it's not enough. Thought there might be one in here, bang, got one. Knew there'd be one up in here, saw him roll on it, bang, got him. Back to tight lining Maryland. I am out on the yellow breaches. I have uh, never been here before, so I'm eager to fish some new water. Um, I know it holds some wild fish, some stock fish. Um, you know, this is the upper section that I'm fishing today. And, um, you know, again, just something out of Keystone Select that I've just been curious to check out. So uh, hopefully between a dry dropper, a double nymph rig, we can kind of get into these fish. So thanks as always for tuning back in, and I hope you enjoy as we chase down fish in this new stream. Got another nice rainbow one. Just caught one on the last hole below the tree. Now I got one above. Pretty. Definitely a nice holdover. Get him in the net. Let's see what he took. There we go. Looks like he took that competition fly that we just bought from TCO. So that's nice to know that they want it. It's got just a little bit of a flash in it, which, you know, I think pops in the water, draws them to it. All right, let's get this guy out of the net. There we go. Back he goes. Looks like we might have our first wild brown. Let's see if we can't get into the net. There we go. Alright, yellow breech is wild brown. Happy to say that we got a little bit of both on here today. We took that competition nymph too. There we go. Alright, so we're up to three fish here on the breeches today. We've got two rainbows and one brown. That's not bad for, you know, 45 minutes of work. I've seen some actively rising fish in this section. Makes me want to throw on like a hopper or some sort of ant pattern, but I'm still going to stick with the nymphs for now. Just go up little by little. Fish it nice and slow into the bottom. bit nicer brownie on this one not great but a good fish definitely larger than the last one he's giving me a good fight too on my hair's ear driving me down get his head up into the net oh yeah that's a nice fish beautiful brown so another successful trip to a different stream that we've never fished before we got four in the net you got two nice rainbows, two nice browns. You just can't beat it. Glad we made the trip. All right, so we're definitely on to something here. We've got the right combination of flies. I've got double nymph rig, just like usual. Um, I've got a competition Umqua um, jig fly here. Don't have a specific name for it, but it's got a little bit of hackle. It's got a, you know, thorax to it. And it looks like a little bit of tinsel. And then I've got the hair zero that I've tied, and I've got two and two thus far on that. And uh, everything's been a little different on who liked what. I've had rainbows take the top fly and the bottom. I've had browns take the top and the bottom. It's all dealer's choice right now. Okay, looks 
see if we got another wild brown. A little tougher to fight in here. Small quarters. Definitely not ideal, but you know, you can't complain when you're catching fish, especially beautiful browns like this. These yellow breeches trout are gorgeous. Just like that, he's out. Okay, so here goes brownie number three of the yellow breeches. And off he goes. Now, I, I usually don't fish water this shallow. I mean, it's probably a foot and a half deep, shin deep. Um, but uh, they're in here. There is no doubt, and they are tucked away nicely in this riffle, eating, eating well. So I'm just trying to go little by little, picking apart each little part of the pocket in here, trying to pick up any browns or bows that are in it without spooking what's ahead. So and so far, that seems to be working. That was a nice take. A little late on the trigger. Let's try it again. Good cast. Had another little, you know, tap, tap, tap. But no fish. So I'll try it again. There we go. Definitely the drift I wanted. Alright, let's move up just a little bit. Try to fish the top side of this run. Get a dead drift through there. Nothing. Okay. Alright, we're going to try to push up on this tree, this limb that's down in the water. Usually Areas like that hold hold fish in my experience. So we're right up on it, but ran out of real estate. It's alright. That was a nice little pocket to pick up, you know, three fish in. So I'm happy with the results there. We're gonna forge ahead, keep trying to pick off some wild browns. Got a very nice spot coming up. One of the more deep channels that I've seen so far in the areas I've been fishing. Just had a take. We'll try to drift it back in. We'll get a little bit further over. like the canopy these fish have. H hides them from me. Makes them feel a little bit more comfortable. So, tiny little brown compared to the guys I got earlier. But wild fish, gotta like that. Good colors for a tiny little guy. And off he goes. Alright, so we're gonna stick with it. Keep fishing this channel. rock bass pick them up in the shallows definitely native so good. dark on one side light on the other always good no release there you go A 
a nice brownie on here. Put my put my point fly. Uh, let's get him in the net. There we go. Alright, so successful uh, part two of the yellow breeches. So we'll see how many we get out of it, but always nice to be rewarded with one extra fish limited time so really really nice spots there on that guy I just knew there had to be something in that root ball luckily this beautiful rainbow came out to play Bring him down a little bit. Oh, man, they do not short these fish on being good looking. All right, so we're running out of, not stream or even real estate, but running out of a little bit of time, I guess you could say, and not wanting to fish too far upstream. Uh, so we'll fish a couple more holes, call it quits, and uh, you know, end our trip on the breaches successfully. I mean, six or seven fish in an hour and a half, two hours ain't bad. I'll take that. And hopefully, you know, we'll get one or two more to, to end it. And, be happy about where we left off. So this fish is similar to where I caught a nice number of fish and some riffles earlier. Just like that we had a hit. But tight quarters so you can't really get a good hook set. You really are left with two options. Snag yourself or catch a fish. And I guess the motto would be hook up or hang up. So still blame myself at the end of the day if we're not catching fish. And these riffles and the breaches have been producing. There we go. And most people will walk right by these riffles. They're just shallow. There's really not a lot of character to them. But you got to understand that on a summer day when these bugs are just piling in through these riffles coming out of these rocks it's kind of the perfect hangout for a brown trout to be and today that has been exactly the case all right coming up on one of the last couple holes that i want to fish i see a nice deep pocket up here that i think is going to hold a fish and i think it's going to hold a nice fish to be honest i just don't know if the nymph approach is going to be exactly what they want I should have fished this too, to be honest. And just as I say it, I get a fish right out of that riffle. Man, I really don't know if I should have gotten this fish either. Woo! Don't really think I should have gotten this fish. I didn't set the hook well. I, bare, I basically walked on his face. So, you know, not going to complain though, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, we're going to just slot that back in. It is Friday after all. All right, so basically just to give a quick rundown of what just happened, because that was a little funky. Um, when I came up from that last riffle where I caught that nice brown, in my opinion, I mean, nothing's huge in here, but I'll take these 10, 11, 12 inch fish all day. Um, you know, I, I just love catching numbers of fish. I mean, yeah, it's exhilarating to catch a big one, and certainly I've gotten one over, over 20, but, um, you know, when it comes to 
just making the ride worth it you want to get a lot of fish um, in my opinion some people want to chase the big ones and I respect that too but for me it's about catching fish and seeing how many you can kind of fool for the day so anyway what uh what occurred is I got one in that riffle I wanted to approach this side of the stream over here and as I walked up I looked down I'm like man that's kind of a nice pocket um, so I got a drift in there and you uh you saw the result a nice pretty brown trout now I'm just gonna turn my back and we're gonna pick one out of here that's my uh, that's my belief I think we're gonna get one okay let's try this again Okay, now I know that's not enough, but that fish seemed to think otherwise. Okay. Okay. Come on, keep your head upstream. There you go. You just saw me. I'm gonna get him out in this riffle now. There we go. Getting exactly where I want you to be. Thank you, sir. Okay. I'm gonna slide him up into the current. Get his head out ahead of me. Use the current to bring him back. Boom! Right in the net. There we go. I guarantee you that big boy has been holding in there for a while. <sighs> hey, what did I say? It was uh, a matter of a little bit of luck on this side and a little bit of precision on this side. But beautiful rainbow, probably 15, 16 inches. Nice, healthy, good fighting fish. Water is perfect in terms of just overall, you know, clarity and great for... Uh, water temps so these fish are fighting hard and eating well all right well it's time to get this guy back in let's uh let's get a release not as not as great as the hook set but we'll take it oh all right so called the shot you know thought there might be one in here bang got one knew there'd be one up in here saw him roll on it bang got him so you know, fished it exactly the way I wanted. Uh, the bow and arrow cast paid off because it was tight and I didn't really have a lot of space to kind of do a roll cast. You know, is that the only fish in there? Eh, doubtful, but uh, he might be the only one I get now that I've turned him over and really fought him kind of hard in that, in that water. But it doesn't mean that I'm not gonna give it another couple drifts and then walk on out of here with my head held high. Alrighty, that's gonna do it here on the Yellow Breaches. Had a great trip, must have caught uh, six to eight um, wild brownies, uh, maybe eight to 10, I'm not sure, I wasn't keeping track. And then uh, got into, I wanna say three or four rainbows with my biggest fish of the day coming right out of this last hole uh, at about 15, maybe 16 inches. So uh, as always, I appreciate you tuning in. Um, it's been great uh, to kick off the summer, getting in a couple trips. And uh, hopefully soon we can get out some of that um, informational content where I can kind of explain a little bit about the rig, a little bit more about uh, some of the approaches, things to kind of like strategize as you hit the water. So uh, tight lines to everybody uh, and I will see you uh, on the next stream.